These streets in the Lebanese capital, Beirut, used to be crowded during religious holidays, but today many have already locked up their businesses, which are already struggling to survive. With spreading coronavirus cases and rising Delta cases, the state of the country is being described as a slow death. This is a very critical and harsh situation. All components of the state have already collapsed. The standards of life have declined in Lebanon. It's impossible for a country to continue this way. We are experiencing a slow death due to the social and political polarization in our country. It's been almost one year since the resignation of Prime Minister Hassan Diab, which occurred after the August 4th Beirut port explosion. It seems the job of an acting cabinet will continue for a while with what could be months-long talks to reach consensus. Observers say the main reason for this delay is partly the veto put by the former prime minister's club, the main allies of Hariri, and partly a Western veto and the type of cabinet the country will form, which sources say is heard from the ambassadors of France and the U.S. in Beirut. The problem will remain unresolved, especially since there is an international division on the next prime minister. There are European sides, American sides, and forces in the region that want to see a prime minister who is in line with their own policies. I believe the upcoming phase is extremely difficult, and it is very unlikely that we can form a government soon since we have 10 months to go till the next parliamentary elections. Experts say the crisis in Lebanon began after the U.S. started a full-scale intervention in Lebanon in October 2019. On August 17, 2019, the Americans told Lebanon that they should choose either their maritime borders or suffer from poverty. And since then, Lebanon is suffering from a crisis in the banking sector. There is a deep state in Lebanon which leads the Lebanese politics. Many politicians refuse to be named as prime minister for fear of being blacklisted. If we don't form a cabinet soon, we will reach the economic abyss. As experts warn, Hariri's resignation has put Lebanon on the brink of collapse. Mariam Saleh, Press TV, Beirut.